NVIDIA, making it so easy to play games now. YouTube doesn't want you to skip these ads. And AMD gives us the fastest ever. Let's get into the hot news, everybody. I'm your Brett host. We're gonna be going over the hottest tech news I can find on the internet while you enjoy your breakfast this Wednesday, August 23rd, 2023. I was trying not to look at the calendar, but I had to. I'm sorry, everybody. And, but I'm not sorry for recommending you go play GeForce Now because NVIDIA rolling out with Microsoft Game Pass to GeForce Now. I'm in. It's such a brilliant idea, especially for a cloud server where you don't have to download or install games. You just get to play them right off the bat. It's going to be launching as of tomorrow. And obviously, this is part of Microsoft's bid to get the purchase of Activision Blizzard pushed through. They're promising this stay part of the cloud gaming space. Also, NVIDIA rolling out more support for their RTX 4080 bundle on GeForce Now with having 15 SuperPod locations for more support for people being able to spend that amount of money per month so that you never need to buy a graphics card again because it's all delivered through the cloud. AI! Not really, but yeah. It's not. They just want your perpetual subscription money rather than your regular mm -hmm. money. That It's better for them if you don't ever buy anything, if you just have to rent it all from them all of the time forever for every reason. Subscription services for everything. Exactly. So this is actually a pretty big deal. Microsoft has committed to 10 years of support here. You've got games rolling out. It's not the full library of PC Game Pass, but it's supposedly supposed to get updated to support all that. I think this is brilliant. I like this. I, as a as a move that they're doing, I'm totally in. I want more games. Easily Give. able to play video games. You guys can do GeForce now in South Africa now too. Rain rolled it out. Really? Yeah, it's official. It's out. You guys oh, can do it. Last I checked, it was. Yeah, last you checked, you didn't know I fix it. Sold and take a, uh, take a lot That's either. That's true. Now, yeah, you, yeah. You, you're South African. I'm so behind on South Africa right now. You're bad at living in your own country. But you know what's not bad? And it's actually good. Today's video is sponsored. Today's video is sponsored by Bassius and their Adamant 65 watt, 20,000 milliamp hour power bank. We've actually been reliably using this power bank since our Cannonball event last year for powering our streaming devices, and it has been rock solid for us. It's a high capacity battery pack with four ports for charging your laptop, phone, tablet, and other portable devices out and about, like a live view streaming box that we use it for since it can deliver that 65 watts that our live view needs. So you have the 65 watts of output and simultaneous charging for three devices at a time. It has a metal case designed for heat dissipation and for being super robust, especially when it gets knocked on while you're IRL streaming. And it even has a digital display that allows you to see the remaining battery level. This thing is incredibly handy for making sure that I'm not running out of juice midstream and getting an idea of where we're at with a glance with remaining capacity. And I don't have to interpret blinking lights that correspond to vague battery percentages like I've seen on other battery banks. It supports USB-C in or out, USB-A out, and micro USB in for wide compatibility. And using our discount code UFT20, you can save 20% off the Bassius Adamant 65 watt, 20,000 milliamp hour battery bank. It's already a great value at its normal price, but this 20% discount brings it to another level of a great deal. Additionally, Bassius has their Give It Free project where they're seeking beta testers for their new products. As a beta tester, you'd be able to receive free product samples and provide feedback to contribute to future product upgrades. So you can check out both the Bassius Adaman 65 watt 20,000 milliamp hour battery bank down below, as well as their Give It Free project to get both a great deal on a current product, as well as work with them for future ones. Big thanks again to Bassius for sponsoring today's video. Well, it turns out that the GeForce Now collaboration is not the only update that Nvidia had for us yesterday. They wanted us to see yeah. NVIDIA DLSS 3.5. What does it add the little point five do? So it actually adds ray reconstruction. As far as I understand it, and this is gonna be a layman's understanding as well as the smallest condensed version, they take ray tracing and then they DLSS that. That's Whoa. the general idea. Instead of constructing the rays properly the first time, they reconstruct them to be better the second time. And that gives you faster FPS. How much? According to their report where they showed off all of this, you can see all of the ray reconstruction here. They change how like they do the denoiser and it's with AI. You shout AI. I'm not gonna shout it. You're not time. gonna do your bit? AI! Okay, so they showed off, especially in a game like Cyberpunk 2077, if you have like DLSS 1, you're getting like 60 frames per second. With DLSS 3, you're getting 100 frames per second. With DLSS 3.5, you're getting 108 frames per second. Eight extra frames, I'll take it. I, I guess, I just, after 
ha having DLSS 3 out in the wild, I don't like it. Yeah, my frames are higher, but the gameplay is worse because it's it increases the latency. Even if you turn reflex on, it's honest. A cyberpunk specifically, when you have the path overdrive, I don't like it. It, it makes the game weird. worse. Yeah, in my opinion, that's how I feel about it. But with any big announcement with DLSS, Nvidia being sure to show off new video game with it, Half Life 2 RTX Remix being made. Valve not involved in this. Of course they're not. It's a community Cowards. remaster as well. They leave the community to do everything. I get it. It's kind of neat, in case you care. And I know that many people don't care about ads. We like them here at UFD Tech because it keeps the fans spinning and the money going. Mm -hmm. But YouTube doesn't want you to skip them anymore with them testing a smaller skip ad button. And they're saying that they're testing it just to, you know, consistent user experience, update the look and feel, but they made it tiny. They made That's... it so small. That is like half the size of what it used to be. They just don't want you to find it. Yeah, it's they're making it very difficult. The clouds just fell from the ceiling. I saw that. That was weird. No one's gonna know what we're talking about. That's fine. I don't like it, but you know, I also benefit from this ecosystem, just so you know where my bias lies. But you know what you shouldn't skip? UFD deals. You did that UFD yesterday. Deals. Yeah, yeah, I gotta think of something new. Three, two, one. Ah! Deals. Starting off today, we have the SteelSeries Arctis Nova 7X wireless headset. This Xbox edition is currently going for only $124.99, making $54.76 off. But as we found out, Game Pass is coming to GeForce now, so it's actually a PC thing now. Yeah. That's, it's just the transitive property. It's the way they do it. I scream, you scream, we all scream for UFD deals. But then next up, we have the LG Ultra Gear 27 GP paid for, that's lots of words Doesn't and number. matter, Doesn't it's a matter. 1440p 165 hertz nano IPS monitor. It's a community favorite, going for only $299.99, making it $130 off. And lastly, we have the pretty new Ryzen 7 7800X3D, going for only $384.99, making it $64.01 off. That's already on sale? Yeah. Wow, where? Uh, that's Amazon. Wow, and that's a that? price. The deals are done, and you can find these and more linked in the video description down below. And until next time, I'm gonna scream at this guy again. Ah! Ah! My ears hurt. You scream Same. real loud. I, I I learned from you guys. Well, my ears hurt from that transition, and my brain hurts from trying to figure out what's going over on Twitter because Elon Musk announcing a new change that is coming from him directly. Of he did. They are getting rid of headlines and descriptions in shared links on Twitter with Elon saying that it's gonna greatly improve the aesthetic and that this decision came directly from him, not the CEO. So he's still very much in charge over there. It's a strange situation. According to reports, this is supposed to help with clickbait, but also it could be that Elon is trying to get everybody to publish their stuff directly on Twitter and he doesn't want to link out of the platform, but he can't get rid of the link. So he's just going to make it less usable. In case you don't know what we're talking about, the linking would kind of look like this. So this is a link that somebody put in here and it has the headline and the description. This is all going away, but it's going to keep the picture. So you're just going to get more clickbait images. Good. This is going to be abused so much. I don't like it. So allegedly this is good for Twitter, but we'll see how it plays out. But Twitter is fixing the bug that wiped out pictures from 2011 to 2014. Get rid of that bug fixing They the found the problem. extra storage space. They found it. He finally put a, paid his Google Cloud bill. That's what happened there. And what's happening right now is we're going to talk about the Linus of Gamers Nexus controversy for a smidge of a second. Okay. All right. I'm just bringing this up because Tech Tech Potato, also known as Dr. Ian Cutrus, formerly of Anon Tech, released this video right here. The problem with tech media, ego, dogmatism, and cult of personality. It's an hour and 34 minute deep dive oh. into not necessarily all of the the sexual harassment stuff that went down with Madison and all of the accusations there, but more so the environment in which both Linus screwed up and Steve from Gamers Nexus misrepresented arguments and did it in a way that was actually destructive rather than constructive. And I highly recommend if you have an hour and a half or you know 45 minutes at double speed which is how i consume this video uh to give it a listen especially because it helps to keep us aware of a lot of biases and implications going forward especially when not just gamers nexus but in any environment when there are gatekeepers or the top level watchmen who is watching them 
That's always the question. Who cleans the vacuum cleaners? Who watches the Watchmen? What actually happens when you have self-proclaimed deep authoritative figures that claim to be the authority? Who is actually checking them? And I think that this video does a good job of establishing not just a check and a balance to the authority provided by Gamers Nexus, but also a way for us to frame conversations moving forward, especially with Exposé's pieces and how we're going to interpret the entire tech landscape as we move forward from recovering this LTT situation. Yeah, I'm going to give that a listen off towards. It's long. It's long. But it's worth it, yeah. in my opinion. I liked it. And it appears like AMD is worth it, especially on the laptop side, because they have finally announced and actually are releasing the 7945H X3D. So it's real. 3D vCache in a laptop being launched in the ROG Strix SCAR X3D. $3,700. Comes with the 4090. Okay. Fastest laptop ever made. I'm, I'm That's in. essentially what it boils down to. There's a bunch of reviews coming out. You can see this gaming performance rating from a different uh, organization showing off that it, it does beat the 13980HX thanks to the fact that it has 3D vCache at the same TDP. It's also supposed to be more power efficient. You can see that here in a Cinebench multi-threaded score, it gets very close to a 7950X3D desktop chip and beats out a lot of other CPUs that are on the market and over doubling the previous Ryzen 9 7940HS. So there's a lot of good stuff that's happening there. It has 128 megabytes of level three cache, which gives it that 3D stacking that's going on right there. That's wild. It's expensive, but hopefully I would like to see something like a 7600X3D in mobile form factor, like the Ryzen 5 version of this, especially because these are some of the most bang for buck in terms of power efficiency. Yeah. Like you get way more performance per watt out of X3D chips. I would love to see that in a mobile form factor, not just at the 16 core flagship level. But in case you don't want it on a laptop, Mini's Forum announcing that they will have a little desktop 100 watt mini PC that's gonna have the 7945HX3D in it. It's supposed to be about like six liters big and then you're just getting all of that goodness in a different package it's cool and what is hot news but a different package of news that made more sense it's Baldur's gate birthday over on stream right now yeah baby allegedly see you there